Beethoven, Mahler, almost the alpha and omega of Viennese classicism. Of course, before Beethoven, there was Haydn and Mozart, but Beethoven stretched the limits of classicism and the symphony in four movements and the sonata form, how we know it, to its limits so much in his second symphony that the next one, the third, really broke and exploded the model. Mahler, on the other hand, was reflecting on classicism and all of his symphonies, especially this fourth symphony, is a tribute and also a nostalgia about this form. And this is why it's so good to pair these two symphonies together. Mahler's Symphony No. 4 is a very unusual work. It's like his secret garden. It's like his lonely or treasure island. This is about intimacy, about feelings which are almost whispered to the heart, with the soprano solo at the end, uh, evoking a children, uh, poetry, something very innocent. But to capture this real innocence, I think we need to know each other a lot. And this is why, after having done bigger Mahler symphonies with the Rotterdam Philharmonic, I waited for them to know me better and for me to know them better, so that we can capture together this very special emotion and atmosphere. And this is what I'm looking forward to.